Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for what do they secretly want to tell you for the month of September. Now, this reading is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages, okay? So it's the person that you want to know about the most, the one you turn on this video for. Okay, so I don't want to take up too much time. And thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys like it this way, and you want to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So what's going on my Sagittarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What do they secretly want to tell my Sagittarius in September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look at that, Sagittarius. Okay. So we're gonna lay down, we're gonna do nine cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, okay? And remember that these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. I'm not doing personal readings at this time, but I will be opening back up in September. So stay tuned for that announcement that's coming up soon. And I do have a free reading contest coming, uh, doing, I'm going, doing right now, actually. It's free to enter, free to get involved. All the details are at the end, so stick with me till the end. All right, let's jump right in here. Let's start out with the first three cards. I'm gonna clarify with multiple decks, like what I always do, right? I'm gonna use the Aizen, I'm gonna use the Lenormand, and at the end, we're going to ask the question, what do you need to know about this connection that you don't know that could help you? Okay, and I'm gonna use these two decks for that. So let's get the Lenormand ready as well so we can just jump right into that. So I feel like there's new ideas and new perspectives. This person is trying to be an open book. They have a sense of naivete. All right, Sagittarius is love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. What do they secretly wanna tell Sagittarius is for September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. This person feels like you are, uh, they, they're, they see you as uh, someone different than their usual type, okay? Um, they feel whisked away. They want to have a conversation with you. Um, they have the sense of a lot of burdens and responsibilities that they seem to be dealing with or this, these things are weighing heavy on their mind. This person is looking to their past experiences and they do have a sense that you are a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment and loyalty here towards Virgo Capricorn energy. This person is, um, you know, uh, wants some sense of completion here and the wisdom is looking at the wisdom of the situation. They are just looking at the examining the connection and they're just kind of looking at it and uh, they're trying to figure out what to do about the situation. So let's keep going. Let's say fish card energy. Also, kings can talk about work and stuff as well. So let's see how that plays out there for some of you. So they're definitely looking at their emotions. And for some of you, money and finance may be part of the delays and fulfillment of desires here with the, the uh, star card energy. Or this person is having the sense that, oh my God, this is, this is completely new. I have new ideas, new perspectives of this connection. And I'm trying to figure out why there's delays and challenges and there's sense of burdens here. And I'm trying to be hopeful because I feel like this person is a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment. Uh, I feel like this person's doing a lot of analyzing, okay? I felt that with the king energy and then I'm seeing a lot of sevens there. So I feel like this person is just like looking at it, examining it and trying to be hopeful and, and wanting a positive outcome in this connection. So let's go further on this. Sagittarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does their Sagittarius's love interest secretly want to tell them for the month of September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's go further on this. They want to tell you that you make them happy. They want to tell you that they've been patient for things to come into balance. They want to tell you that they're very attracted to you sexually or they have a lot of passion and energy towards you. They're hesitant though, because they, they feel like sometimes you're, you're kind of like really, they feel like you're really into them, but then other times you don't seem like you are. Like you almost seem like a little bit standoffish. And it kind of takes them by surprise. That's what I feel like. And it's almost like they have a sense that they're walking on a tightrope, okay? Uh, this person really wants to shout to the rooftops, like how much they really are, you know, they have this sense of 
wanting some kind of connection with you and that makes them very happy. Um, they know that things have to be brought into balance here, so let's go further on this. Okay, ship card energy, bear card energy, tree card energy. This person um, wants some kind of change when it comes to strength or courage, or they want to travel towards you and trying to find the strength or courage to heal the connection. Okay, with the tree card energy. Or this person really wants to lay down some roots here. Okay, there's been patient energy around this. Can, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, potentially. Sun cards telling me there's this happiness about this travel movement or change and trying to find that strength and being patient to bring things into balance. There's this healing aspect of it because there's a lot of chemistry and passion between you and this person. Let's go further on this, okay. So obviously there's new ideas, new perspectives about their emotions and that's why they want to make the effort. This person has a sense there's delays and burdens and challenges and that's why they're trying to be patient. This person, from their wisdom of the past, uh, they want to make a wise decision here and they're hopeful that there's going to be a positive outcome between you and them but they're, they're not sure if they can open their heart to you that it's safe for them to love. This person, you make them really happy and you've brought a lot of change into their life and they're really obsessed with you. This person's trying to be patient for the strength and courage because of this new love. This person is at a crossroads here. Okay, also Queen of Wands can talk about the fact that someone, um, this person feels like you're very attractive and, and you know, you have other people potentially here. Um, so this person wants to make the effort, so they're trying to be patient for it to be safe for them to love. They're very obsessed with you and they have strong desires and strong attachments to this connection when it comes to this new love or potential new love and they're at a crossroads here. Let's go further on this and then I'm gonna break down everything all together here, okay? Okay. We see that they wanna tell you something to do with stability and stableness with the four card energy, um, uh, a sense of celebration or something to do with marriage and long-term commitment. This person's again trying to find that courage and strength. I feel like they're halfway in, but halfway out. And this person doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you with the Four of Cups energy, or this person may feel like you have a lot of options, okay? This person has a sense of stuck energy because of marriage and long-term commitment or something to do with stability and stableness. This person doesn't know if they can be honest with you because they lack the courage and strength. You really surprised them. This connection is was a, a gift to them. This, uh, this, uh, they, they are attracted to you with that. That, uh, that also the bouquet card can tell me that this person wants to to go out with you, okay? Or you're a gift to them, or they want to give you a gift, or they feel surprised. They don't want to miss an opportunity. They, 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 this, this for them, this connection for them, I feel like Sagittarius is something that they're not used to. It's something different than what they're used to. You're not uh, something that that they would think was their type. Um, and that's also what scares them about it. Um, okay, so let's keep going. They have romantic feelings for you, and then there's something to do with single and available or issues around that, but they're hopeful that there can be a positive outcome with you and them. So they wanna make an effort because they do have these feelings for you, and they're hopeful of a positive outcome, but they know it's not safe for them to love. So they're being patient and obsessing about you, being single and available in this indecision. They may feel like they're, they want this new love with you or there may be this new love involved with the situation on your end, okay? They may feel like there's, you may have new love and they're not certain. So let's keep going down further. Okay, so let's go further here. So this person has emotions for you but they, they have a sense there's delays here, but they're hopeful that something will change and they can find the strength and courage to heal this connection or lay down some roots. There's this stuck energy because they have a sense that they can't be honest about this attraction. Okay, let's go further. Let's go further on this. This is something completely new and different for them. Uh, they feel burdened and challenged by that. It's really weighing heavy on their mind and they want to be wise in their decision making. They, you make them very happy. They're trying to be patient for things to come into balance. They have this chemistry and passion for you. There's something to do with marriage, a long-term commitment, uh, or is something to do with a stable relationship and they're trying to find that courage and strength because they have a sense that you have a lot of opportunities here when it comes to marriage and long-term commitment or something to do with a stable relationship or they have a sense they're going to miss an opportunity because of marriage and long-term commitment. 
Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's see what you need to know about the connection that you don't know that could help you. What does Sagittarius need to know about this connection that they don't know that could help them in this situation? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here. Sagittarius, you, what you need to know is you need to take that time to really look at this deeply. Be open with your intuition, okay? Let things uh, become calm. You're going to gain the answers that you need and you'll be able to overcome any challenges here with the enlightenment card. Or this time alone will give you a sense of uh, how to overcome these challenges, please, that you'll get the answers that you need. It's very saying to hope, us, hope on on uh, concentrate on happiness and making choices with the heart that's what i feel like to uh, focus on your happiness and what makes you happy that there will be uh something revealed that will will allow you to thrive in the situation you just have to see the bigger picture the higher perspective of this and trust that things are going to work out and that you will be successful in manifesting what you want here because there's a lot of chemistry and passion here and there's a lot of growth here around this okay let's go further on this what does Sagittarius need to know about this romantic connection that they don't know that they need to know that help them show me the cards you need to see show me the cards you need to see there's the sun card energy happiness there's happiness here there is a lot of energy around this there's a sense of manifestation you really got this person's attention um, there is um, happiness and a commitment where there is something that's going to be revealed about a commitment which will bring abundance here there's definitely something of value here between you and this person there seems to be some boundaries here or some defensive energy about getting hurt but this is a part of your life purpose on that there is a road to this after a while or something to do with spiritual maturity uh, or this is a part of a soulmate connection okay for or you've known this person for a long time because the fact the spiritual maturity card tells me that you guys are going to come together and you're going to walk that road together because it's part of your life purpose All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, the next reading that's coming out is your mid-month, which includes love, career, and finance, and health and wellness. That'll be out in another day or two. Uh, stay tuned for that. Um, your monthlies are out already. Your weeklies are out. Your love, um, your soulmate readings are out. Your feelings readings is out. And also, if you want to check out this reading for the month of August, you can check that out in the playlist right now if you want more information about what's happening with your individual for the month of August. This one's for the month of September. For the free reading contest, all you have to do is put love in the comments below. If you're picking two people at the end of August, which is coming up very soon. Um, so I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your month, and I will see you guys soon.